So what do I know about? I know about being nice. I know about being nervous and trying to be brave. And uh, about taking care of each other. So I'm going to sing some songs about that. For a drive, I like to pull off to the side of the road, turn out the lights, get out and look up at the sky. And I do this to remind me that I'm really, really tiny in the grand scheme of things. And sometimes this terrifies me. It's only really scary because it makes me feel serene in a way I never thought I'd be. Because I've never been so grounded and so humbled and so one with everything. I am grounded, I am humbled, I am one with everything. Rock and roll is fun, but if you ever hear someone say you are huge, look at the moon, look at the stars, look at the sun, look at the ocean and the desert and the mountains and the sky. Say, I am just a speck of dust inside a giant's eye. I am just a speck of dust inside a giant's eye. When I saw Genevieve, I really liked it when she said what she said about the giant and the lemmings on the cliff. She said, I like giants, especially girl giants. Cause all girls feel too big sometimes, regardless of their size. When I go for a drive, I like to pull off to the side of the road and run and jump into the ocean in my clothes. And I'm smaller than a poppy seed inside a great big bowl. And the ocean is a giant that can swallow me whole. So I swim for all salvation, and I swim to save my soul. But my soul is just a whisper trapped inside a tornado. So I flip to my back, and I float, and I sing. I am grounded, I am humbled, I am one with everything. I am grounded, I am humbled, I am one with everything. So I talked to jean and almost cried when she said that the giant on the cliff wished that she was dead, and the lemmings on the cliff wished that they were dead. So the giant told the lemmings why they ought to live instead. When she thought up all the reasons that they ought to live instead, it made her reconsider all the sad thoughts in her head. So thank you, jean because you take what is in your head and you make things that are so beautiful and share them with your friends. We all become Become important when we realize our goal should be to figure out our role within the context of the whole. And yeah, rock and roll is fun, but if you ever hear someone say you are huge, look at the moon, look at the stars, look at the sun, look at the ocean and the desert and the mountains and the sky. Say, I am just a speck of dust inside a giant's eye. I am just a speck of dust inside a giant's eye. I am just a speck of dust inside a giant's eye, and I don't want to make her cry, cause I like giants. Thanks. Thank you. This next song is a song off of my kids' album. It's a lullaby about sharing. And the weatherman said to my friend, what's your name? My friend said, write yours down. Mine is almost the same. Erase the S and M in their place, put a G and R and an ND. Look at me, what's that say? And the weatherman stood with his head hung in shame. He took off his big belt, put it down, turned away. But my friend said, don't leave. I just harvested beets. Let's go eat at my place. With his mouth full, the weatherman stared at his plate, and he knew it was his heart that made my friend great. Not his muscles, his money, his job, or his name, or his fame. See, my friend isn't famous. He is just a good person who grows what he eats. And if you have a mouth, then he will try to feed you. And if you are cold, he'll put wood in the stove, grab a quilt and some warm flannel sheets.
So the grand champion called up Sam Champion, said, let's plant a garden in the heart of this wasteland. And Sam said, hey man, this will be breaking news. But Grant said, I won't wait for your camera crew. See, I don't do what I do for the glory. I don't do what I do because it's a good story. I do what I do because there is a need and a hunger created by corporate greed. See, there's a surplus of food in this country and nobody should ever go to sleep hungry. But that food is kept under lock and key considered a privilege for people with money. Then the weatherman dropped to his hands and his knees with a tear in his eye and unable to speak he was driven to action by only compassion he dug in the dirt and he planted some beans planted some beans planted some beans planted some beans Planted some beans. My grandma said to me, if you only have one bean and you meet someone with no bean, you should give them half your bean because you will be less hungry if you eat just half a bean than if you eat a whole bean in front of somebody with no bean. Thanks. Thank you. looking down at them they were looking down at you you were starched and pressed they were all disheveled they were holding hands they were ragamuffins and they said i know we're not fancy but we're on the same level and we've got plans big plans we're gonna change the world all you care about is dollars that doesn't make sense all you do is hit snooze watch the news buy shoes drink booze make money feel spent and day after day after day it's the same shit day after day after day it's the same shit day after day after day. It's the same shit day after day after day after day after day. Then you looked at them without batting an eye and said, hey, little hippie, let your freak flag fly. Why don't you go smoke a bowl in your best tied eye? Get a tattoo of a dancing bear holding a peace sign. You can talk the talk, but when it comes to real change, aren't you and all your little friends exactly the same? You sit around at potlucks, pointing fingers, placing blame, drinking kombucha and eating tempeh. And day after day after day, it's the same shit day after day after day it's the same shit day after day after day it's the same shit day after day after day after day after day If you are judging them while well, they are judging you when you think that makes them assholes, maybe you're an asshole too. Do we argue with each other till we both turn blue or find similarities in what we like and what we do? Yeah, just because someone does not look like me doesn't mean they are a clone or a sheep. Maybe they like their job and they're living their dream and they love their friends and their family. Yeah, some people thrive between nine and five and feel like they're choking if their neck's not tied. And some people feel as if they're gonna die if their seams aren't straight and their shoes aren't tied. Some people like business, some people like numbers, some people grow organic heirloom 
cucumbers and only feel free with their hands in the dirt in a pair of old jeans and their favorite t-shirt some people feel enslaved when they have a boss some people without one feel totally lost to make this world work it takes all different kinds we all have different tastes different strengths different minds so it doesn't make sense to generalize and it doesn't make sense to judge with our eyes we need more compassion we need to be kind if you open your heart you might like what you find because there are some mean bus drivers but there's some nice bus drivers and there are some nice cops in madison wisconsin and there are some nice teachers and there are some mean teachers but just because you have a mean teacher doesn't mean all teachers suck and no one is nice all the time no one is mean all the time think about what someone's going through it's making them be mean to you like maybe their pet gerbil died and they are really sad inside or maybe they got in a fight with someone that they really like maybe they are really shy don't know how to socialize they just want to run and hide not saying that it's justified but if we learn to empathize the resentments will vaporize and situations metamorphosize before our very eyes then the need to stereotype will become outdated when we realize that everyone is really complicated we are also complicated we are also complicated i am also complicated i am also complicated I'm a black mama lactivist, a home moaning punk. It's been over a decade since the last time I got drunk. I drive a minivan, I've got junk in the trunk. I think Danny DeVito is a total hunk. I like revisiting the shit my therapist helps me remember. Being friends with someone for a long time, still not knowing their gender. I fight for equal rights and I fight for inner peace. I pray to the dead for the gratitude I need. I've got chickens in my backyard and a little garden plot. I really hate commercials, but I got a slap chop because I'm a sucker for a remix. And let me tell you what, by the time that I am finished, you are gonna love these nuts. I'm a little bit pop culture, a lot bit DIY. I don't know the definition of TMI. I write poems about my period, post pictures of my log. If you don't like body functions, you shouldn't read my blog. My baby daddy's a musician from the mountains in France. He wrote me a song we did interpretive dance then he knocked me up now we have the coolest kid yeah hooking up with him's the smartest thing i ever did and i feel like i can fly when i'm on roller skates i get a little high when i eat dry dates i feel like i'm unloading when i'm loading up the car i feel like i'm exploding when i'm holding my guitar i don't understand what numbers have to do with success or what sales have to do with happiness unless they're the kind of sales that will carry me to see where my grandma and grandpa are waiting for me. I never thought I'd make it to 25. Now I'm 37 and I'm glad that I'm alive. If I ever need a tour bus, I'm still gonna drive because I like looking out the windshield as the world goes by. Looking out the windshield as the world goes by. Yeah, looking out the windshield as the world goes by. Now I'm 37 and I'm glad that I'm alive and I like looking out the windshield as the world goes by. Thank you.